Can you please tell us your name? Carl Catherman. And what did you bring to the History Harvest? I brought about 150 old documents that date for as early as 1775, and most of them go up to maybe 1860, a few later, and also a collection of postcards. Uh, how did you acquire them? Well, the postcards, I, I collected postcards fairly seriously starting around the year 2000 and sort of gave up maybe two years ago because at my age I have too much stuff. So I just quit. Uh, the documents, most of the documents I bought at uh, an auction probably 15 years ago uh, there was an antiquarian by the name of Charles Straub who lived in Troxelville. And uh, Hassinger and Courtney had a two-day sale of his material. Uh, there were, it consisted mostly of documents and books. Um, why did you decide to bring these to the harvest today? Well, I thought it would be nice to have some, have them on record as part of Snyder County history. Um, how did you hear about the History Harvest? Uh, I read about it in the Daily Item. Uh, can you show us, like, a sure. personal favorite of yours, if that's possible? Well, let's see. A couple of really interesting postcards, if I can dig them out. Um, there's a lot of Susquehanna University postcards there. This is a very interesting postcard. Um, this shows the aqueduct that transported the Pennsylvania Canal across Penn's Creek at the south end of the Isle of Q. Well, here's another neat one right above it. This is a train going across the railroad bridge across Penn's Creek, just north of Sealands Grove. And maybe one other interesting one, if I can, ah, yes, right here it is. Uh, this is a photograph of the Middle Creek Power Dam, uh, which is south of Sealands Grove. Those are some of the interesting postcards. Um, are a lot of them written on? Pardon me? Are a lot of them written on? Uh, yes, uh, a lot of them were sent, but I also have a lot that, you know, were, were never sent. And most of these I bought on either eBay or uh, from uh, estate auctions and uh, postcard dealers at postcard shows. If I can find it here, there's a, oh, I don't think it's in this book. This is actually, let me just take out the whole page. These three documents, the bottom one's written in German, are receipts from uh, the several children of Adam Bolander who had moved to 
the area of Uniontown, Ohio, and there they were children when their grandfather, who was named Philip Moore, died, and uh, they had to wait until they reached the age of 18 before they could collect their inheritances, and these are the receipts that they gave to the executors of the estate or rather not to the executors of their estate, because they were minors when their grandfather passed away. They had to have guardians appointed, and their two uncles were appointed guardians, and so they received the money from their uncles. And this entire book here is filled with about 50 old documents that are in German. I haven't translated, haven't even tried to translate most of them. I've translated a, a few of the smaller documents that were written in German. Uh, but there's some long documents in there. There are court records and summonses for people to go to court and that sort of thing.